Меня зовут Александр Куприн, система инженерного анализа. Мы являемся единственными партнерами корпорации DSO System по решениям Боеве на территории России и СНГ. Пару слов в принципе о Боеве, что это такое для тех, кто не знает. Решения Боеве, они делятся на ну, таких три основных кластера представляют из себя некую специализированную среду для совместных исследований в области передовой химии, материалов ведения, фармацевтики. И, как я уже сказал, делится на три части, то есть это совместные исследования, как раз решения для моделирования химических реакций, для моделирования материалов на различных уровнях. Это отдельные решения для оптимизации и автоматизации лабораторных исследований. И это решения для производства, масштабирования и контроля качества. Сегодня у нас речь пойдет о Material Studio. Это среда компьютерного моделирования, которая позволяет пользователям и исследователям да, в области материаловедения, химии разрабатывать новые материалы, прогнозировать связь между молекулярным атомным строением, прогнозировать свойства поведения разрабатываемого материала, моделировать физико-химические процессы, проектировать материалы по там, заданным свойствам и так далее. Там более подробно об этом сегодня расскажут мои коллеги. Разрешите их представить. Итак, с нами сегодня Марк Минье, доктор химических наук, член научного совета Боеве. Он занимается исследованиями в области моделирования полимерных материалов и фармацевтического материаловедения. Является членом редколлегии журнала Molecular Simulation и а также является автором книги «Отраслевое применение инструментов молекулярного моделирования». Второй спикер – наш соотечественник Виктор Милман, старший директор группы исследований и разработок в области квантовой механики и нанотехнологий в Боеве. Имеет более 150 рецензируемых публикаций и принимал участие в разработке популярного кода для квантово-механического моделирования твердых тел и поверхностей, известный как CATSTEP. Также сегодня с нами Мартин Песон, старший научный сотрудник по разработке программного обеспечения, в частности Material Studio, и Александр Перлов, ведущий научный сотрудник Боеве. Вебинар будет записываться, у вас будет возможность в конце задать свои вопросы либо голосом, либо это можно сделать в, те, в чате. И, конечно, запись вебинара всем зарегистрирована. Мы в обязательном порядке пришлем. А, поэтому, я думаю, можно начинать. So, Mark, as I promised, stage is yours. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the introduction. I, uh, my Russian is, is uh, not good enough, certainly, to understand all what you said, but uh, I believe you already have introduced us, so that's great. And I'm going to unmute and probably share my screen. Okay, you should Perfect. see. Yeah. Okay, sorry for that. I always goes to the wrong screen, right? <laughs> right, thank you everybody to uh, the uh, update on the Material Studio 2021. We will uh, briefly present a little bit of the uh, modeling simulation tools we have uh, at BioVIA and mostly focused on the 2021 release that is now uh, nearly um, quite a few months uh, ago. I hope everybody has already installed, tried a few of the functionalities. And for those who have never seen Material Studio or not quite sure what it is about, um, it belongs to the series of solutions we have at BioVIA to predict materials properties to simulate materials at the atomistic molecular scale. We have various tools uh, within BioVIA to, to do so. And certainly a Material Studio is a, is a big part of that. So we try to help research department to 
predict properties of behavior of materials depending on conditions of pressure and temperatures, uh, electric fields and so forth, trying to guess the structure property relationship really in order to well, screen uh, for different materials, screen for formulation or see how properties will evolve uh, with time or as i say with, with different conditions uh, so this uh, chemistry that we sketch you can see here on the right is done with the material studio visualizer the interface of the software which allow you to very easily quickly build very complex model of uh, polymers membrane um, um, battery uh, materials and so forth and with that, we have also many uh, solvers, so modules or solvers, which correspond to different level of um, theories. And so based on classical mechanics or quantum mechanics and, and so forth. And all those tools, all those uh, functionality are implemented uh, inside the software in as a unique package. So the one of the yeah, key of, of Material Studio is the possibility to perform uh, simulations and predict those properties at various time and length scales. So at the bottom left here of the graph, you could uh, see how we look at the electronic properties of materials. <clears throat> and today and uh, later, uh, uh, Victor's, Martin and, and Sasha might talk about uh, all the new development we've done in, in this particular uh, field within Metro Studio 2021. You can look, so as I say, at the electronic properties of the material, the energy levels, and, and so forth. And uh, so that's the, uh, the quantum mechanic level. Then within Material Studio, you can also simulate material at a slightly larger scale using typically classical mechanics or Monte Carlo type methods to simulate things like polymers, uh, interfaces. And large crystal structures and so forth. And then and, and we can go up the scales like this to, to soft materials, look at membranes, lipid membrane, look at formulations and mesoscopic uh, scale. And that, that's not where the, that's where the BioVIA world kind of uh, end, but that, that's not where a simulation should stop. And um, within DASO system, uh, or the bronze, sister bronze said like uh, Simulia, which had the, um, well-known finite element analysis code called Abacus uh, can also take input from the um, mesoscale simulation of Material Studio. So you have a continuum uh, within the system and bronze, you have a continuum uh, of possibility to, to simulate your, your materials from um, micro, meso, macro, and so forth. And then you can also go up the scale. So uh, I'll show an example in the next slide. Uh, who's using a Material Studio? So as I said, it, <clears throat> we, we provide really solutions for research department trying to, to innovate, trying to understand better behavior of the material, or trying to optimize the formulation or optimize uh, a specific um, composition uh, of, of the materials. And so typically uh, in the past, uh, typically petrochemical companies trying to look at catalysis, try to enhance the performance of the cracking. Personal care product would, would look into optimization formulations of surfactant condition, surfactant concentration to optimize uh, the softness of, of the product, uh, agrochem, electronic, aerospace, et cetera, et cetera. So it's many, many different uh, type of companies and, and pharmaceutical companies as well. Uh, we, we have a few discussion here with Farmstat, I believe, in based in Russia in the past. And uh, yes, pharmaceutical companies try to say, understand crystal structure, polymorphism, uh, crystal habits, and, and so forth. So the optimization of the drug formulation. Uh, many uh, government laboratories, many academics and uh, customers, and I believe there's many uh, attendees today coming from various uh, academic groups uh, in Russia. Uh, many citations in scientific journals. Uh, uh, you can uh, see the uh, Metro Studio 20th anniversary in the Molsim special issue a few months, a year ago. Um, summarize all the developments of the past. Material Studio is a very mature program and it's been used uh, by academics to uh, publish 
and, and you have a, a little tool within Material Studio uh, website, uh, I'll show you at the end, to, to search for those specific journal publications. As I say, and we uh, support at DASO system, they uh, partly support the possibility to run your research at, at various at length scales. Uh, in this case, uh, think of a electrical car, um, and, and you will start with, with the battery, of course, and, and you will start with at the molecular level of your batteries, trying to understand all the chemical history and, and physics that come into play in the diffusion of the lithium in the formation of SI interfaces and so forth. So we've, we've developed a lot of tools and we provide a lot of uh, those modules uh, functionality within Material Studio to study this interface, to study the diffusion of the uh, ions and uh, conductivities and so forth. And, and that can be then uh, those behaviors, those properties, uh, predictions, models can be used then by, as I said, Simulia in the finite element simulation can be used in, in uh, 1D models uh, systems uh, of CATIA and, and other uh, brands of, of uh, DASO system. So really the focus today is, is on uh, Metro Studio 2021. And in that particular release, there's some uh, improvement <clears throat> in the hardware support. So the foresight that is the classical mechanics uh, tools of Material Studio, which allow you to do molecular mechanics, molecular dynamics, and other tools, other um, uh, such a simulation uh, can, uh, is Foresight Plus, so Foresight, and then that can be now using uh, GPUs. We have a new improved version of the compass force field, including a Born compounds, and new models, which uh, Victor and colleagues will, will present in more details of FlexTS, and then the open phase um, to, to look at the growth of uh, <clears throat> crystal grains. And then a few updates on, on the other QM codes. In terms of platform, uh, in that particular release, so we remember Material Studio is still a Windows client for the interface, for the building of your models, for looking at the output files and so forth, we, we use a Windows client. So version 10 here, Windows 10. Uh, however, for the servers uh, where you actually run the simulation and that can be done uh, remotely, can be same machine or can be sent to some HPC somewhere else. And, and there we, we support various um, Windows, Linux, uh, Unix machines. Uh, for the GPU I mentioned, so I'll detail that a bit in the second part on the classical simulation tools, but uh, we basically support NVIDIA devices only and from version six and upwards. And you'll see that makes a very nice improvement in terms of speed for your simulation jobs. I mentioned the reference site, yeah? so please do go to the BioVia website and uh, search for the Material Studio page, and you can then enter some keywords, and that in the output give you all the link to the uh, papers where Material Studio modules uh, well, were we used to. Um, in this particular uh, keywords, and you can filter per year, per modules, per uh, keywords, and, and it's very nice. And it's now really, really uh, populated uh, with over 35,000, and that's just Material Studio. We the same tool also for Discovery Studio, our life science tools, and also for uh, the solvation chemistry tool. So overall, you can um, see a database of over 50,000 plus uh, papers here. Yeah. There is a scientific communities that I would um, really recommend you to join. Uh, lots of uh, discussions and tips and tricks and people sharing uh, how they did that or ask a question. Uh, how, does anybody know how I could build such models or what equation should I use to compute this uh, such properties? So it's, it's a nice way to uh, communicate with your peers and it's really focused on, on the use of um, molecular simulation and material studio in particular, of course. Um, and a lot of support from the uh, R&D team uh, in particular and support and R&D teams to, to answer any tricky questions. So that's it for this first part. Let me
move to the second part now. Um, up. And so in this uh, next part, I uh, shall uh, concentrate on the classical tools and update of Patio Studio 2021. Uh -huh. So as I mentioned before, we have a new version of the Compass force field and it's called Compass 3. And that is now the recommended version of Compass that could be used uh, moving forwards with all the new releases. Uh, the previous Compass, Compass 1, so the 2.8 has been moved to the legacy. So you know within Mateo Studio, you in your uh, when you choose on your energy tab, you can choose the um, force field, your interaction, your potential uh, interaction, interatomic potential. Sorry. Uh, so there, there's all the one we we have in the list, and then you also have legacy for the for for the older versions, in case you want to reproduce something particular. Uh, the compass two has been removed, and uh, we think uh, now we should only use really compass three. So in this version, in this uh, 2021 release of Matter Studio, it's uh, version 1.1, as I mentioned, that uh, is extended to support Boron compounds. And that's uh, there's a big focus also within uh, DASO system on uh, lithium ion batteries. And so this, this uh, is, is an important support. So the also there are new um, analytical terms that can be used with the force field editor in Mateo Studio. You can uh, you have a force field editor which allow you to import particular force field and to edit them and to modify some force constant or modify uh, equilibrium distance or add some new parameters within your force field, and then you can reuse this my force field say uh, in in. In your material, in your molecular dynamics or, or other solvers. So there is a compass, as I said. So those are our new terms. And we'll see um, also how we use them for uh, importing different force fields, such as OPLS. There is a compass three. Uh, so as I said, and, and there is uh, also tools within the um, Paplan Pilot collection and to automatically generate new force field potentials. In uh, two weeks ago, I just wanted to mention also in the update that we, uh, as I mean, the force field parts that we also support the OPLS uh, potentials. And that is thanks to the uh, modification of the analytical terms that can be used within the, the software. Uh, uh, which is a scaling of the intramolecular non-bond interaction. So uh, the OPLS have the special term for uh, this here. We also supported uh, tabulated uh, potentials. So that's when uh, you have a, like a, a grid uh, uh, of values and distance energies. Uh, so that's a, a very quick way to compute the uh, energy terms for, for your molecular structure. And, and you can also use that within Matter Studio in your geometry optimization or molecular dynamics and, and so forth. I mentioned so really a big improvement in this in our simulation tools is the support for GPUs, the NVIDIA GPUs, right? And and it's both uh, non-bonded and valence forces that are ported on the GPUs, and uh, say lumps is, is say only the first terms. So you have, uh, when you go to your foresight interface and uh, you launch your, uh, so you set up your molecular dynamics, your number of steps and your force field and, and your non-bonded terms and so forth. And then you go to the job control where you choose the gateway, where are you going to run your simulation? So you choose your, your server here and, and then you can, you have this little uh, tick box uh, that it's as simple as that to say, use GPU. And so most functionalities are supported by this uh, GPU. Um, however, in terms of um, submission method, for now, 
Uh, in the 2021 release, we only support for uh, the atom-based emission with a cutoff and the particle 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 mesh uh, evolved emissions. And support the various force fields, but not EAM, uh, the, the metal force fields uh, for now in this release. So how you configure, so you go to your uh, remote, your, your gateway systems uh, uh, on the page uh, that you have in your server console of uh, Material Studio. And then you say, well, if you're lucky to have a, a nice GPU on your hardware, then you just uh, say yes here. Yeah. That, that's simple as that. So, and, and you can also use it when you script. Uh, you know that within Material Studio, you can uh, submit your simulation also via uh, scripting. Um, and you just would have to say, use GPU with uh, yes, no, uh, within your, your script. Uh, you could also have various um, so functions within your script, maybe some of them you, you want to use uh, a group-based method. So you, you say you don't use GPU for that, but for another, then you might say yes. So you, you can decide with this simple variable here. Uh, in terms of uh, performance, uh, uh, so the advantage of using GPU is, is really to uh, make the simulation faster, much, much faster. And uh, so, compare, so this is a GPU versus a CPU system. So you can see the, the gain here for 10,000 atoms. Uh, so you know, much, much faster, uh, even than 16, uh, well, sorry, 12 CPU here. And here we are, uh, so that's nanosecond per day. So you have nearly a five nanosecond per day uh, for 80,000 atoms uh, systems. If I compare to uh, a well-known uh, package, academic package, uh, LAMPS, oh, I'm really sorry now, got somebody at the door. Uh, uh, using the GPU, so basically we are uh, a lot, still much faster, of course, than a single a CPU. Remember, uh, LAMPS is made for a high scaling uh, machine. So it does use multiple CPUs and, and the GPUs. Uh, so, but, for smaller system, uh, we're still much uh, faster with uh, uh, Material Studio Foresight. But uh, when you go to the very, very large scale systems, uh, then uh, there is still a slight advantage of lamps uh, on multi-core and, and GPUs. Uh, but you can see that the difference isn't, isn't really great. So there's a lot of good work here uh, in this release to make the simulation a lot faster using GPUs, single CPU core, and then one GPU. Uh, in the 21 release. And, and a lot of improvement can be expected also in the forthcoming releases. Now, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to pause a second. Hello, yeah, back. Uh, we developed, yes, can, can you hear me? Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This person wouldn't go away. <laughs> we developed uh, within the uh, new release also, uh, as you know, there is a Material Studio collection of uh, Pipeline Palot uh, and other tools of BioVIA which uh, help uh, develop workflows and can be used by the, uh, the scientists in simulations to uh, put together long workflows to uh, perform a series of tasks and distribute those tasks, uh, mix them, mix different uh, servers, mix different uh, functionalities, and which works like a large scale script, really, if you want, if you wish. And, and here, uh, so different scripts were put, so different workflows, sorry, have been put together in this particular release of the uh, Pipeline Pilot 21. And for example, here, uh, the possibility to calculate the addition uh, of um, uh, materials on the surface and how much force is needed to pull this, this phase here. So for, for each, so we, we do, we 
So we read and the data, we build a layer. So this is, you know, it's a layer builders in Material Studio, which allow you to easily build um, multi-layer systems like a McDonald's sandwich, and then perform some molecular dynamics to equilibrate the system after you build it as always needed. And then you start to pool your materials. So for each sample, so you, because you can read multiple materials here, that, that the great thing of pipeline palette is that you can easily upload many different models and perform the same series of tasks on all those different models. And you can also mix them. You can build all the pairs of different materials you want, uh, different surfaces, different uh, composition here, and, and then perform for each one of them. Perform here, you, you pull the, the, the two materials together, you re-optimize and you do an MD and then you calculate the energy and then you look at the energy distance, right? And so this is a sort of graph you would get of uh, adhesion energy versus the uh, separation of the two phases. And then uh, you, you do that for different uh, type of materials, different composition, different surfaces, and, and then uh, maybe uh, you can optimize your particular materials. We uh, also put out um, mesoscale components within the uh, pipeline pilot collection. So those are little tools, which are the task huh, that you get into mesosite. Mesosite is our simulation tool for uh, mesoscale simulations, uh, mostly used for say surfactants, uh, soft materials and polymers, mostly. You can run a dissipative particle dynamics uh, or coarse grain molecular dynamics and things like that. So the size of tool for that, you can build a network. So within Meta Studio collection, there is, or, or there are scripts also you can get from the community to build uh, atomistic networks of polymers uh, for epoxies, but, uh, or else. And so we provided the same workflow here for protocol is called for your um, mesoscale systems. So you, you can build those complex uh, architectures. Uh, and Mark, then... Mark, I'm sorry, are, are you uh, supposed to be moving slides? Yes, I thought I was. Uh, we are looking at interfacial adhesion, I think. Oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, resume share. Sorry, I've stopped sharing. Yeah, are you, thank you, Victor. Are you, did I move now, yeah? No good. No good? Okay, so sorry. Uh, let's uh, uh, go back a little bit. So yes, I mentioned yeah. So you, you, you get in output for your protocol, you get uh, this uh, uh, energy separation type of graph, which then you can do for various composition, various materials, and, and you get this nice uh, PDF report. We built, we also provide a component for the mesoscale. Uh, tools, the, the mesosite, which, as I say, allow you to simulate uh, materials at the mesoscale level uh, for uh, polymers, uh, surfactants, and lipids, etc. Typically. And we um, have provided uh, with that a uh, protocol to build 3D uh, networks of uh, beads, uh, which represent your, uh, your soft materials. And so you can build those uh, meso molecules and start to simulate, to put them in a box, simulate the cross linking between the different branches and create a, a 3D, uh, say, epoxy model. Another tools is a, Another protocol, sorry, for calculating the thermal conductivities. So we use non-equilibrium molecular dynamics. So basically you, you build a long uh, system and then you start to exchange uh, particles or energies between uh, the center and the side of the box. And then once you do that, you can then look at the variation of uh, the temperature uh, uh, as a function of the position within the unit cell and the gradient of which will, will give you the uh, thermal conductivity. 
So I mentioned so the Metro Studio collection of a PP pipeline pilot 2021. Uh, uh, so similarly to Foresight, where you can use GPU, and uh, we can do or Mesosite actually, you can also uh, remember that you can also use a GPU within your, your uh, component. And with that, I shall, uh, we shall move to the next part.